Hello, my name is Dustin Bolin, and I'm the assistant principal of Upper School at Foundation Academy on our Tilden campus. It is my great joy to share with you the daily deets, or the details that you need to know each and every day as you walk on to the Tilden campus. Let's start with the bell schedule. Every single day, our tardy bell starts at eight o'clock. Uh, and that doesn't mean the school day, that's the school day starts at eight o'clock, which means if you're arriving at eight, you're late. We wanna make sure that we arrive early on time. I always recommend, especially to new students and new families at Foundation Academy, getting there between 7.45 and 7.55, just making sure that you have plenty of time to get to your locker or giving yourself enough time to make sure that you're there at your first period class. Again, the first bell ring at 7.55, the tardy bell at eight, and then the school day goes until 3.15. We have seven classes a day, and there is a break after second period. Our classes are about 51 minutes in length. Um, and then after second period, we have about a 15 to 20 minute break where your snacks are sold um, in our, in our, in our um, quad area outside. Um, and it just gives you that little bit of push to get through uh, the rest of the day. Chapel day is Thursday, and we actually run on a different schedule. Chapel is really, really important to us uh, at Foundation. It's a time where our entire student body and faculty can come together and worship the Lord, hear a great message that just inspires us. And we do that every Thursday. Um, and so we do run a, a shorter class schedule to a, allow us more time for that uh, the chapel. And again, all of those schedules, both the regular schedule, the Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and the Thursday chapel schedule. That will all be given to you at our back to school open house uh, here in just a couple of weeks. Dress code. I know that as we're getting ready and the school year's picking back up, what do we wear? Well, let's start with the tops. First is a Reese Brothers uniform polo. That's the polo that uh, each and every student wears every day. Uh, these are great. Uh, I've talked with many students. Um, they come in different colors, but the material is is more of like that, that dry fit material, very, very comfortable. And it has the FA logo right there uh, on the front of the shirt. It's got a collar. Um, that must be worn every day. When it comes to the bottoms, you actually have a little bit of flexibility in the bottoms. Uh, all of this is in your student handbook, but just to kind of give you an idea, you can wear shorts, uh, khaki shorts, navy shorts are acceptable. Uh, you can wear pants, khaki or navy pants. Uh, you can even wear jeans each day. All of that is acceptable. You just got to make sure that the jeans fall within the dress code guidelines. They cannot be holes or tattered. Um, they cannot be... Um, like the 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 jeggings that we're seeing now, nothing like that. Um, it, they've got to make sure that they're either blue as well. So nothing nothing out of the normal. Uh, when it comes to outerwear, it's important that you make sure that outerwear um, is lake or is uh, foundation academy approved. It's got to have an FA logo, and you've got to make sure that no hoods. We don't allow any hoods on any of our. Um, our sweatshirt. So even if you want to bring a, an outerwear because your classroom gets cold or something along that nature, got to make sure that sweatshirt does not have a hoodie. Even if you found a retro uh, Foundation Academy sweatshirt that has a hoodie, those are no longer acceptable on campus. On Friday, we have a spirit day. Uh, you can wear any uh, Foundation Academy approved t-shirt. Again, it has to be Foundation Academy approved. The seal can be from a sports team, a club. Uh, you can wear those with jeans or any of the other bottoms, as I mentioned earlier. Outerwear, Spirit Day shirts, all of that can be purchased um, through our athletic department online, or we will have a stand set up during our back to school open house in August that you can purchase that at. I mentioned briefly just a minute ago about the parent student parent handbook. This is going to be your homework. I'm sorry, that's right. You got homework before that first day of school. This student parent handbook can be accessed on RIMWeb, which is our fax family portal. RIMWeb, as we call it. You can access it there. And I'm not going to sit here and go through every single component, but I do want to highlight some of the big ones. And the first is cell phones. It is important that you know when you come to school that your cell phone is powered off when the school day starts. 
Once it's powered off, your cell phone must either go into your locker if you have requested a locker this year. If you did not request a locker and are not using one, then that phone must go in your backpack and we will not see that phone out until 3.15, the end of the day. That's really, really important that you follow that. Uh, we wanna make sure that your day is spent in the classrooms focused and having that time with your peers in and around campus. Um, absences. It is imperative that if you know that you are going to be absent for any length of time, a day or more, you got to make sure that you're communicating that with the school. And you can do that with the email address there. Parent needs to make sure they're emailing attendance at foundationacademy.net and letting our attendance department know where you're at. We must make sure that we account for you even on days that you are not there. Tardies. Tardies get to school on time, right? Uh, but we also know that tardies uh, can happen. And there are two types of tardies according to our handbook. We have excused tardies and we have unexcused tardies. I'll tell you right now that about 98.7% of tardies are unexcused, meaning that there was something that happened and you just got to campus or you got to school late. Every now and then we know things happen. There may be a major accident or something like that that prevented you from getting to school on time. You may have had a doctor's appointment, a prearranged doctor's appointment. Those are what we would call excused absences. Um, you've got to make sure that tardiness is not a problem. And that's one of the reasons we want to get you guys into the routine of getting to class on time, both in the morning and throughout the day. We also do have a drug testing policy that we implement. Uh, that's really, really important to understand more details in our student parent handbook. It's not a gotcha program. We at Foundation do not believe in that. What we want is we want to make sure that you understand that we love and that we care for you. And one of the ways that we do that is we know the dangers and the pitfalls that this world has. And one of the things we want to do is prepare you. And with our drug testing and education policy, we do that. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to email me or contact me. But again, it's outlined in our student and parent handbook. When it comes to discipline, we follow Proverbs 10, 17. Whoever heeds discipline is on the path to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. We see, you see, we at Foundation believe that discipline, it's proactive and it's not reactive. Well, what does that mean, Mr. Bolin? Reactive is, oh, here's the code of student con, or here's the handbook. We see something you did. Okay, we need to get you for it. Yes, that happens but we believe in proactive discipline and that means the forming of relationships. I'm gonna tell you right now, discipline starts with one word, four letters, and that is L-O-V-E, love. We love you, we love your families, and we are so thankful that you, we are partnered um, in your education. And we will show you over the course of your time on the Tilden campus, just how much we love you and your child and your mom and your dad and your sisters and cousins and your family, because this is foundation is a family. We will get to know you, you'll see in the hallways. We'll, we're very, very visible. And we believe that's where discipline starts, setting that foundation for what we expect and those expectations. We do also know that things happen and that choices are made and behaviors are, are made. And what the way that we handle that is through a merit and demerit system on the Tilden campus with our upper school students. If a student is in violation of one of the uh, infringements listed in the student handbook, they can earn demerits for that. And once they've reached a certain threshold of demerits, that leads to a, um, a disciplinary measure. On the flip side, we also wanna reward our students who go above and beyond in doing what's not required of them. And they would actually earn merits, actually marks for going above and beyond. So we, again, we, we truly, truly believe in that relational proactive approach to discipline on the Tilden campus. Security is a simple, safety is our non-negotiable and security plays a very, very important role in that. And so it's really important for you to understand that there is no unsupervised access in, the, in, in any campus building. What that means is, be where you're supposed to be. And if you have to leave for any reason, you have to make sure that your teacher or adult that's in charge of you knows exactly where you are. That's really, really important to know. Building hours are only open during school hours. All right, so only from uh, eight until uh, that, that bell rings at 315. All doors will be locked, even classroom doors. If there is a visitor that checks in, they will check in through the front office. Make sure that visitor has a driver's license because we make sure um, that, that their identity is checked. Um, we have security cameras throughout. And again, that is to ensure the safety of our students and our faculty and staff and our campus. 
Uh, so there are cameras all throughout and encompass the entire uh, Tilden campus. We do have emergency drills. We have fire, tornado, lightning. We do practice these often. In the rare event that one of these were to occur, we wanna make sure that all of our stakeholders on our campus are fully prepared. Parents, it's important to make sure that all of your information is updated in RINWEB, uh, our fax system, which has all of our information, because we do send alerts and information to you. I will tell you right now from about August to October, and then again from about um, April through May, uh, we're going to see some thunderstorms that come through uh, Winter Garden, and there are lightning alerts that we come under. And if we are under a lightning alert, that can delay our dismissal. And so we want to make sure that we can communicate that with you. And the way that we do that is by sending out those parent alert systems. So that is why it's imperative to make sure that your information is up to date in RINWEB. Also, IDs must be worn at all times. That is essential. On the first day of school, you will be given a lanyard, uh, and that lanyard will have your ID on it. You must be wearing that at all times. Um, it, I will tell you, if you're not, I'll find it, or a teacher will, and we'll make sure that you have it. Because if you don't, that is uh, an infringement uh, in the student handbook. So again, make sure that you get those, and you'll get those on the first day of school. That about wraps it up for me. There could have been a, there's so many more things to go over, but we've got, we'll have time to continue to do that over the year. Again, I ask that you look at your student handbook that goes into greater detail with the expectations and outlines some of our policies and procedures. But most importantly, know this, we cannot wait to see you in just a few short weeks. This is going to be an amazing school year, and I can't wait to see all that God does and has in store for, the, for Foundation Academy on our upper school. Have a wonderful last few weeks of summer, and I will see you soon as we embark on an amazing 2021-2022 school year.